So how are you um, attributing sales to your CRM data to like fix um, everything that happened on the iOS 14 update um, to help reattribute sales on LinkedIn? Yeah, good question. Um, so I'd say LinkedIn is probably the least affected platform out of all of them. Um, you know, sure, everyone is affected in terms of not being able to track conversions as closely or like obviously activity off the platform. But in terms of like working it back into how LinkedIn works, LinkedIn's mostly first party data in terms of like I'm targeting by job title that someone is putting in there. I'm targeting by industry that somebody's putting in there. I'm not targeting by any any criteria means that um, isn't first party data on, on LinkedIn for the most part. There, there are some interests, but for the most part, it's mostly first party data. Whereas on Facebook, you're, you're choosing these uh, vague interests and in, in Facebook's building their AI models based on what people are doing off the platform. So they lost all that data. So that's that's what's really limiting their their AI's abilities, <clears throat> whereas on LinkedIn, a lot of that hasn't changed. So on LinkedIn, um, we use we use lead forms pretty heavily. So you're going to capture, you know, what's that person's prof what's that person's contact info, um, what's their email, what's their profile URL, you know, kind of whatever you want to use as your as your inputs. Um, you, and you can use email as an identifier, you can use profile as an identifier, or however you want to handle that. But once that's in your CRM, you know that came from LinkedIn. And even if you're not using lead forms, you can separate out your landing pages so that you have each campaign or each ad is going to a specific landing page and you'll code those forms, those landing pages appropriately so that as they get into your CRM, you can attribute all that kind of back. So mm -hmm. there's get to be a lot of like variables and configurations there, but it's all possible to do. So what you do is you connect, you know, that, lead that you're capturing that's going to go into your crm and you should have some attribution in terms of where that lead came from either in terms of the form they came from or the campaign they came from and then in your crm you know as that person works their way through the sales process you can then track your cost per qualified lead your cost per opportunity your cost per sale back to where that lead initially came from um, some of them are, are nicer to work with hubspot's pretty nice where they'll they do a very good job of putting that all into like a couple dashboards that you can use <clears throat> um, but the bigger the organization, the more likely that they probably have Salesforce for their sales team. And we do see this a lot where like the marketing team uses HubSpot and then the sales team uses Salesforce and you try to, you know, co correlate all that data. Mm -hmm. You kind of just need a couple more connectors there and then attribute those leads as to where they came from. And then you can, you can do that calculation, but that's how you, that's basically how you do it is you need to track down where that lead came from on LinkedIn and then be able to have some keys there in terms of who that person is and where they came from and then in your crm where they're making it to and then pull all that data back out into a google sheet or a dashboard um and yeah it's nice if you can you know it's nice if you can pull that all into some sheets and then put some dashboards on it and like just have those update every day or multiple times per day and then you can have these live metrics in your dashboards that are updating based on campaign performance yeah exactly and one of the benefits off of it too is like using that lead gen form, that's your conversion tracking, and that's all on the LinkedIn platform as well. Whereas Facebook is more um, off traffic, uh, more like on site traffic conversion tracking, yeah. which is a little bit different because you have to work off of pixels, server side tracking, and everything else there. So I bet LinkedIn was affected on the conversion tracking on the on website side. But it sounds like you use more LinkedIn lead gen forms anyway. So it makes it where it wasn't as affected because it uses lead gen forms that are just on the LinkedIn site itself, which is first party data. So it really didn't matter since you're not doing that on website tracking um, conversion value, which you would have with Facebook, basically all on the website stuff. So it sounds like it wasn't as effect affected there, right? Yeah, and, and we're seeing all the ad pl platforms try to hold as much traffic or do as much on their platform so they can track it versus going off platform. Um, so most of them have lead forms these days. And um, yeah, when you can do that, then you, then you know a conversion's a conversion and you're not leaving anything up to guessing. Yeah, exactly.